Are you thinking about moving to Raleigh, North Carolina? But just want to know, before you even make that decision, better yet, before you make the move, you want to know what the heck is going on with the real estate market here? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So you're going to want to stick around for that. What's going on everyone? It's Ronnie Polonese here. And if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. And while I have your attention, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and the bell so you're, you are notified every time I do a video sharing with you exactly what it's like to live or better yet, what it's like to move to Raleigh, North Carolina. Just as much as I enjoy making these videos, I would love more for the opportunity to be able to assist you on any of your real estate needs that you have. So the number's gonna pop up right there. Make sure to go ahead and give me a call, shoot me text, email, day or night, heck, maybe even on the weekends. But just remember, I got your back in this market. So of course, for one, as some of you may know, there is a ton of low inventory everywhere, um, specifically here as well in the Raleigh, North Carolina market. So with that being said, it's obviously driving prices up pretty, pretty high to a point where a lot of, a lot of sellers are essentially just getting exactly what they want. Now, that was probably about two years, a couple years ago in terms of when that's happening now it's kind of shifting as you may know as you may be experiencing as you may be seeing um, and now it's not as much of a high demand so sellers kind of lost their edge here but i wouldn't say they lost it completely because again all across the board looking at raleigh and self looking at what's going on in raleigh north carolina the inventory is the lowest it's ever been in fact i was actually looking on a shorter term we're more or less i would say geared towards more of like a, a buyer's market <laughs> whereas on the longer term we're still in a seller's market so i can allow you to kind of put that perspective into what's happening up oh, let's get under those trees really quick but that can go ahead and share with you exactly what's going on in the area here in terms of low supply high demand low inventory is another way of saying it now with the low supply high demand one thing that kicked in and started turning things into circle here is the fact that the rates started to rise. Now, no one obviously anticipated when those rates are going to continue to rise. <laughs> Better yet, no one knew when. So now that they're here, this is exactly what's going on. A lot of that demand has diminished, slowed down for many different reasons, right? Obviously, some people just cannot afford exactly what the rates are allowing them to do. Or maybe some people are just not comfortable with the rate that's even being offered. So sellers now have, like I said, they have kind of lost their edge and now they've lost a little, the ability to leverage a little bit more of what they have going on for themselves. So that's something to truly indeed consider. Raleigh market is definitely experiencing it. I would definitely say on a slower scale, I've, I've seen it. I mean, we've seen price reductions. I mean, practically every, every week, um, better yet. And so it's, it's happening. It's truly indeed happening. One thing I will share as well, another thing I will share as well is as I follow the market very, very closely, I know there's a lot of chatter going around in terms of like what the future holds of. A lot of people anticipate or expect some sort of market crash or something of that nature to happen. I mean, if you have the crystal ball and you could foresee the future and you can share me with what's going on, please do that because I'll be more than happy to pay whatever dollar amount you want just to kind of get that crystal ball. Uh, but I don't know what the future holds. Um, I can only share with you exactly what's going on and that's what we've been seeing I mean we can be obviously the price points in terms of the adjustments has been has varied depending on where exactly you're looking but we have seen five to ten percent discounts um, for the most part now those may pick up those may not depending on, of course what the future holds but one of the things I would definitely say is obviously this is an attractive market a lot of people moving here for several different reasons our job opportunities if you check out some of my other videos i think my last one last two um is it a good time to buy i think it was what it's called i'll go ahead and tag it up there but 
if you check that one out, I mentioned several different reasons why a lot of people are moving to this market. And this is all based off of what I'm hearing, what I am experiencing dealing with different clients and just people that move here in general into the area. In addition to that, of course, with no one knowing what the future holds, a lot of people are kind of taking a step back, reevaluating their plans, reevaluating what's going on in the world to see, does it make sense for them to even buy? Does it make sense for them to sell? Does it make sense for them to even move, to relocate wherever it is? But uh, again, this is here to share with you exactly what's going on here in the Raleigh market so you have an understanding of exactly what to expect, whether you're looking or whether you're actually going to make that commitment and get over here. Something I will add as well is the fact that builders are even getting quite skeptical. Um, they're not getting, I would say, too skeptical, but obviously they're slowing down. They're not pressing, they're not pressing the needle to get properties out there left and right. Well, and you're probably thinking, well, why is that? Well, if there is no buyers, if there's no money on the line, there's nothing that they can, you know, make sure that they're going to turn a profit on, then of course, why would they do it? And I'll go ahead and show you like something right now. I'm sure this isn't a property though that has stopped. It's actually probably a property that's currently in the works. Um, so you can kind of take a look though. Hey, what's even going on in the scene? Uh, you want to take another look? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> but yeah. I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure that property is not done. It's probably being worked on. It's probably just going through the processes of things. However, builders in itself, they're slowing down. And if builders slow down, then that means less homes. And it's a ripple effect of it all, though. In regards to the political party, though, I will say that has, at least that's what I see as an important piece as to why certain people make certain decisions and when they make it, when they decide to make it. It's because they obviously want to be in the right hand. So I think the political party, a lot of people are even waiting for that. Nonetheless, of course, the interest rates and things like that of that nature. But I think, again, this is all my opinion. This is my perspective. The political party does have a say, does have uh, some sort of weight and leverage over the individual in terms of when they decide and when they do not decide to make a decision. So that is something that you could potentially wait for. That is something you could potentially weigh a decision on is waiting until when they decide to make that decision at the political party to then figure out what is it that they're going to even do. It's very funny how the world works because as I'm recording this video, sharing with you guys exactly what's happening in Raleigh, North Carolina, I have a great conversation with a, a veteran someone who's in the industry, real estate industry for a very long time and just sharing his experience. And he says, man, this thing is going to boom with the next 20 years. I really wish I could have recorded that conversation so you guys were able to tap into it. But that's me summarizing everything he has said. He says, man, this is a market that's very similar again to Atlanta. I know you probably don't know too much about that, but that could be a market you can make that comparison to. It was overall a great conversation, but this is exactly what's happening in Raleigh. Everything is moving at such a fast, rapid speed. Everyone is trying to keep up and just get a handle of this all, but it's, it's tough. So this slowdown is kind of helping, but we'll see how long it actually goes for, because in the meantime, we don't know exactly what to expect from it all. So I hope this video was definitely able to help you understand what's going on in Raleigh in terms of real estate and helping you make a decision on whether you want to be in Raleigh, North Carolina or not. But don't forget, as always, just as much as I enjoy making these videos, I would love for the opportunity to be able to help you with any of your real estate needs. So if you do have any questions, concerns, or you just want to know something new, give me sh the number's going to pop up right there. Shoot me a call, text, email, day or night, heck, maybe even on the weekends. Always remember, I got your back in this market. Peace.